Hi guys, Mrs. Sked here. Today I'm reading you the book Creepy Carrots, written by Aaron Reynolds and pictures drawn by Peter Brown. Let's begin our story. Creepy Carrots. Jasper Rabbit had a passion for carrots. And the carrots that grew in Kraken Hopper Field were the best, fat, crisp, and free for the taking. He pulled out some for a morning snack on the way to school. He yanked out a few on his way to Little League practice. He ripped them from the ground on his way home at night. Jasper couldn't get enough carrots. Until they started to follow him. At first, he noticed something strange after the big game against the East Valley Hares. Jasper was about to help himself to a victory snack when he heard it. The soft, sinister tonk, tonk, tonk of carrots creeping. He turned, but there was nothing there. Just my imagination, he thought, but he hopped a little faster. That night, as he was brushing his teeth, there they were. Jasper whipped around, but nothing. He laughed at himself, picked his toothbrush off the floor, and went to bed quickly. The next morning, he approached Krakenhopper Field slowly. He reached for the two wild carrots. Nothing happened. He bit into one. Nothing happened. Whew! creepy carrots. It was ridiculous. But when he arrived home that evening, mom, mom, Jasper screamed, creepy carrots in the shed. His mom opened the door slowly. There weren't any carrots, not even the regular kind. There are no such thing as creepy carrots, mom said, shaking her hand. Later that night, as Jasper laid in bed, he heard it breathing, terrible, carroty, breathing. And there on his wall, creepy carrots, he shouted, dad, dad. His dad thumped into his bedroom and threw on the light. Is everything all right? They searched under the bed. No creepy carrots. They looked through the closet. No creepy carrots. They opened the dresser drawers. No creepy carrots. Just a bad dream, son, his dad said, shaking his head. Now go to sleep. That wasn't going to happen. By the end of the week, Jasper was seeing creepy carrots creeping everywhere. Jasper knew his parents were wrong. Creepy carrots were real and they were coming for him, but they couldn't get him if they couldn't get out. Jasper hatched a plan. First thing on Saturday, he grabbed supplies and headed to Kraken Hopper Field. As the sun finally set across Kraken Hopper Field, Jasper Rabbit smiled, and on his way home, there was no tonk, tonk, tonk. There were no carrot-shaped shadows. His plan had worked. No creepy carrots would ever get out of that carrot patch again. And as the sun finally set, the carrots of Kraken Hopper Field cheered. Their creepy plan had worked. They were sure of it. Jasper Rabbit would never get into that carrot patch ever again. The end. I think the reason why these carrots became creepy was because they didn't want to be eaten by Jasper anymore. I hope you guys liked the story. See you soon. Bye.